I'm Austin Scott, Congressman from Georgia's 8th Congressional District. It's December the 13th, and we're going to have a major vote today on the uh, Middle Class Tax Relief and Job Creation Act. A lot of things in that bill that I know uh, Americans have been waiting on. First and foremost is the Keystone Pipeline and getting it jump-started, helping uh, create energy independence for North America uh, by, by helping uh, bring more oil from Canada to the United States. Uh, that's also going to create a lot of jobs for Americans, and uh, we're looking forward to getting Americans back to work. The second thing in there you'll be happy to know is that the uh, payroll tax extension is in there, so there will be no tax increase this year because of the uh, extension of the payroll tax uh, holiday, as we've called it in the past. Glad to vote for that. And uh, we've got a revision for the, from the unemployment insurance. Uh, it's going to allow a lot of things, uh, give the states uh, the rights to have uh, more ability to put programs in that help get Americans back to work instead of keeping them uh, on unemployment. Right now the law is that uh, People can stay on unemployment for as, as long as 99 weeks. And with these revisions and help from the states, we're, we're driving that number back down to the 59 weeks uh, that, it, that it was at before uh, the current extensions went into play. A couple of other things we've got in there, uh, the Medicare payments for the doctors, the doc fix, is, uh, it's commonly called. Our seniors have expressed serious concerns about uh, the reductions in Medicare. And we've, we've heard you on that, so that fix is in there. And, uh, we're paying for it all with, with cuts in other areas. So uh, one of the key things we've done this year that has changed from past Congresses is as we have done things that require spending in, in certain areas, we have uh, made cuts in other areas. So uh, we're paying for all of this with cuts in uh, other areas of the bill as well. So thanks for joining us today. And uh, as always, uh, look forward to continuing to protect your constitutional rights up here uh, in Washington. And God bless America.